a U.S. artillery unit getting locked and loaded. This is Iraq's border with Syria. There are more than 200 U.S. and French boots on the ground here. Set up just a month ago, we have been given exclusive access to this space on Iraq's border with Syria. For all the talk of the defeat of Islamic State group, this unit is working around the clock to fight the militants. And the threat here is very real. No, yeah, it was an uh, ISIS convoy uh -huh. that was heading from the river. We'll be able to see here in a second. They were heading north across the desert to go attack the SDF location. How big was that? It was at least, I think it was about a half, half a dozen vehicles uh, full of fighters. The fight against IS means there is now more than 5,000 U.S. troops positioned across Iraq. The reality is that ISIS is very fluid and uh, you know, can of course just blend back in with the population. Uh, you know, they could be just driving a white pickup truck one day and, and move within uh, just a few kilometers of the Iraqi border. We visited this space a few days before President Trump's surprise announcement to pull troops out of Syria. Now we've won. It's time to come back. They're getting ready. You're going to see him soon. But he has since made it clear the boots on the ground here in Iraq will stay. We have been told that these remote U.S. outposts will now take on a much more important role in the fight against IS. I don't think it's helpful to try to put a timeline to this fight. I think what's important is that not only do we defeat ISIS, uh, but then also help the Iraqi security forces to be able to prevent the re-emergence. So it's not simply a military defeat, um, but also a long-lasting partnership that we want to maintain with the Iraqi security forces. And while questions remain about America's wider role in the Middle East, it's clear what their allies think about the plan. U.S. allies are concerned the departure could create a power vacuum in the region, a vacuum that could be filled by Iran. It all looks the same from here, but the area behind me is controlled by many different forces. On my right, we have the Syrian army, Lebanese Hezbollah and forces royal to Iran. And on the left, there is the Syrian Democratic Forces backed by the US as well as IS. These Iran-backed paramilitaries have played a key role in the fight against the Islamic State. But they have always opposed the U.S. presence in the region. For them, the U.S. leaving Syria is good news. The mixed messages from Washington have created a lot of confusion on the ground. Until the White House has made a clear decision, these soldiers in Iraq will be waiting in the wings. Nafisa Kuhnavard, BBC News, on the Iraqi border with Syria.